Testing, testing, one, two. Hi guys, welcome back to VR Essentials where we talk about the practical uses of virtual reality. Today, today, very cool video as we're going to be doing, as per my promise yesterday, when you smash the 20 likes, a video all about what games you can try in virtual reality using your Oculus Quest 2 or your HP Reverb G2 or any other VR headset that you may have. But you will need a PC and also Steam VR, although some of these experiences could potentially be uh, also on your standalone VR device. And by the way, just before we move over, just a reminder that we are giving away a brand new HP Reverb G2, a brand new pair of cyber shoes, $50 vouchers to keys that you will be able to redeem to your Meta Store, your uh, Viveport, or your Steam VR Store, whatever you want, doesn't matter. And a fourth winner will also get some keys. And by the way, description below to a giveaway we're doing to two lucky winners who will be able to go to the VRcovers.com's website and choose any item that they wish uh, up to a value of 29 euros and 29 US dollars so do go to that link and click on it for the details of the entry so let's just move over to the uh, to the other screen and guys I just want to mention very quickly very sorry by the way if there's some noise uh, some tapping going on behind um, that you know I haven't put these games in order but they are absolutely free because yesterday uh, we did do a video all about where you know I did mention that the do's and don'ts in VR one of them is you don't need to spend any money when you're first in VR to get comfortable into VR uh, to build your neck muscles and all this kind of stuff uh, you can just download apps for free there are plenty of them this is going to be one of 10 or 20 different videos because there's so many apps for free uh, and I I have personally, by the way, tried all these apps myself. So I know if they work, I know if they don't work, I know if they're good, I know if they're not good, and I won't recommend them if I feel that they're not appropriate for your entertainment. All right, so let's go back to the, uh, to the page. The first app that I'd like to talk to you about, of course, is DCS. Now, DCS is a jet fighting, plane fighting, dog fighting kind of game. It's uh, supposed to be one of the best VR simulation games available today when you're trying to pilot a plane, an aircraft, of course. However, you will need a hot ass, which is basically a system uh, where, you know, you need to have the joysticks and all this kind of stuff in order to have a really, really good experience because using your keyboard alone and mouse and stuff can be a little bit hard. So it, it is preferred to have the hotas for this kind of game. It is really beautiful. You can also use hand tracking, by the way, with the Ultra Leap system. We did a video on that and you can go and check this in the description um, below or on the VR Essentials channel. Just a really fantastic game. I really recommend you try it if you can can. The next game, of course, is Google Earth. Google Earth enables you to basically visit any place on the planet. Um, and it's just phenomenal. Sometimes I travel back to France, um, you know, to, to see what it's like and go and reminisce in my past and my childhood and all these kind of things. It's just absolutely amazing. The graphics are actually pretty good and it's free and you can go anywhere and you can just, it's so relaxing inside. It's almost like meditating uh, or doing some kind of, you know, just relaxing exercises. You can go anywhere. It's, it runs really well and it's just freaking amazing. So I really do highly recommend uh, Google Earth VR as well. However, if you want to be shaken up a little bit and you're someone who prefers a little bit more the horror stuff, then I definitely, definitely advise you go and check out Propagation VR. It is a really sublimely made VR, um, VR game. The graphics are really not bad. I've had the hilly jellies or the jelly bellies, um, you know, at <laughs> quite a number of times. It's, it's just just a really well made game uh, you have a lot of fun in it and you know it's completely free so as I said go and try you know because it is really really worth your time the other game that I recommend you go and try if you like social VR is Neos although for Neos you will definitely uh, need a more powerful PC I would say because it does take some computer some computation uh, power I would say uh, okay, why isn't it running the video? Let me just put it full screen. Okay, there we go. Um, so basically you can go, the difference between NEOS and everything else that's available in VR currently is that the things you can do in NEOS are just 
fantastically amazing. Uh, you can basically program anything to do anything. Uh, you can put people on a firecracker, light up the firecracker, literally sky, skyrocket all the way to the sky, and then you'll see the fireworks are just sublime. Uh, you can have all these fire effects, snow effects, special effects. Your avatars, the graphics inside are just amazing. It's just another level of social VR, to be honest with you. I haven't seen anything like this in VR currently, not even in VR chat, not even in Sensar. I think the only difference between this and let's say Sensar is you can't yet purchase or have a store where you can sell stuff. But other than that, it is just way and leaps and bounds beyond a must try for any social VR enthusiast. It's just frigging amazing. So NEOS is available for free as well. All right, if you like to do a little bit of gaming and you know you don't have to gamble, you could just do it for free, it's PokerStars VR. It's an absolutely delight to be in there. You can build social network, of course, with various different people. The graphics are pretty good. Uh, the gameplay is not bad at all whatsoever. And of course, it's very fun, very entertaining to play poker with your friends. So I definitely recommend you give it a try if it's something that to you sounds appealing or entertaining or relaxing, just to have a, you know, these kind of moments with other people, because as I mentioned, you can meet other people too. So it does have a social aspect to the game. And again, it's completely free and it's just good fun. So do go and try it if it's something that you feel appeals to you. Another game that I thought was really fun, and this is more targeted, I would say, to people who have never really tried VR before. It is quite old, it's not very recent is Dragon VR. I actually had good fun inside. Um, to be honest with you, it felt very relaxing. They get you to do some little games, uh, little things that you have to complete. And, you know, then you have all the animals that you can see inside as well, uh, the dinosaurs, and they're pretty big. They're very big. And the graphics are not too bad. They're okay. The gameplay isn't too long. So definitely something worth trying out. If, uh, you know, you just want to try something simple to begin with, get used to VR, uh, get, get familiar with yourself with the graphics and how to move around, all that kind of stuff, then I definitely think this is perfectly fine, perfectly fine, sorry, and also is quite safe for kids as well. So there you go. Drag and VR is another heads, is another VR title for you to try. Coreno is actually a really interesting game. If you like to solve puzzles, solve mysteries, it enables you to go inside of memories to decipher clues so that you get to progress in the game set in some kind of sci-fi uh, kind of environment. It's just a very interesting game. The graphics, if you have a good PC VR uh, computer, are actually really, really well done. Uh, even though it's been, it was uh, built and released a few years ago, it's actually really not bad at all. It's up to par with other games that are available today. I definitely recommend to go and check it out. Um, you know, even if it's for an hour, just to get familiar with it, because I think you'll enjoy it. I think you will enjoy it. And by the way, do leave behind in the, uh, do leave below in the comments any other VR titles that I've missed potentially today that you feel are really worth uh, trying out for free, because I think Quareno is definitely something worth trying out. All right, another app that I think is pretty fun. The graphics in this game are actually not great, but it is just good fun. Let me just refresh the window first so the video runs. There we go. It's called Egg Catcher VR. <laughs> it's just really good fun. You, you basically get to just catch some eggs and then you have to put them down someplace and then, you know, it goes through the motions. And it, it, there are different levels and it. it's a really stupid game and the graphics are not great. But honestly speaking, I just had a lot of fun and it's really great for people who, you know, don't, don't have that much experience in VR whatsoever. Let me just go on YouTube uh, and find a trailer. If there is one, there we go. Here's one here. Okay, let's uh, let the ad play. Skip ad, there we go. Um, yeah, so basically it's just a really good fun game. It's very stupid. There are various different levels. Um, you know, and, and it's, I think, it, I think it's early access too, if I'm not wrong, can't remember. Um, but you get to catch some eggs and, you know, it's just good fun for kids, especially if you're not used to VR and you just want to get, 
uh, familiar with the surroundings, how to move in VR, how to operate controllers and stuff, then this is definitely something worth trying out just for fun. You know, you're not going to stay in here for long, to be honest with you, but you will have tremendous fun in it. I can guarantee that for sure. And it's free, so you're not going to lose any money whatsoever. Now, Storm VR is another experience that I had very interesting experience. It's also for those who like to solve puzzles and all that kind of stuff. And the graphics are actually pretty good inside. I have to say I was pretty, pretty impressed. Uh, you have to basically solve puzzles, as I just mentioned. And when you start off the game, you'll be put in a blizzard kind of environment where everything is uh, like, so it's going to transition over just now. Everything is going to be snowy. Everything's going to be like you can't see 10 meters away from you. It feels so claustrophobic. It's really, really amazing. It, it's the kind of stuff that, um, you know, if I just see if there's some gameplay instead of the trailer. Uh, here we go. Here's some gameplay. I mean, it's so claustrophobic. You really feel like you're in a, in, in, in a storm in the winter. Um, it's the kind of VR experience that you will definitely not have in many other titles, um, you know, that, that this offers. So definitely worth checking out. You can definitely spend a good hour or four hours in there for sure. You're going to forget about time and, 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 and where you're at and all that kind of stuff. I mean, you can barely see where you're going. You have to walk around. You've got to go and solve clues. Uh, you end up, you know, near this house and all this kind of stuff. And you interact with the characters. Uh, the character has a voiceover. Definitely worth checking out. And guys, it is free. So as I mentioned, you're not going to lose any money whatsoever. Now, Vintage VR is next on the list. Now, what I liked about Vintage VR, to be very honest with you, is that it's a very limited game. Uh, you're not going to get a lot of great VR out of it. But I thought what was really interesting out of this VR experience is you get to see some photos, real photos that were taken back in the 18 and 1900s, so really vintage stuff. And what is really interesting is that I, it's the first time that I, I found myself being able to experience 3D pictures in VR, other than watching a 3D movie, for example, in big screen, which is another VR app, which I'll talk about in another in a future video, because it is also free to use, um, is that all these pictures are completely in 3D, and it really feels like they're popping out of the actual uh, picture. You know, it feels like you're inside of the picture when you're looking at the picture, um, and and it's just a really interesting experience. Not just the fact that you get to see what was happening, you know, in the 1800s and 1900s, but also, um, the fact that the, 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 the effect that these pictures are enabling you to have is very different and is very unique for VR. So definitely do go inside. If it's, for example, something that you're looking to do in your own VR application, then I think it's a very interesting app to just go and take a look at for five or 20 minutes just to see what's there and just look at the quality of the pictures because it's going to really spook you and you're really going to think like, wow, was, was, was this real? Like, did this really happen? Because it feels like it's all modeled, all done in 3D, but it's not. This is based on real events from real pictures that were taken. So really amazing as to how this is. I think it's really interesting to just go and take a look at it. So Vintage VR. The next VR app that a lot of people have been using is Drive a Desert Bus in VR. Now this guy, <laughs> basically the only premise of this game is you get to drive a bus uh, in the desert within virtual reality. Um, and basically there are some people who have done videos where they literally spent seven hours or 24 hours in VR driving this bus, doing live streams, just to see how people will react. I mean, it's pretty hilarious. It is. It does feel very real when you're inside, although driving the bus is, uh, well, you have, you have to use both your hands to steer the bus, so it's quite interesting. But when you do look around the bus inside, it does feel like you're inside a bar in a bus. And also the very interesting thing about this app, of course, is that they limit the view in front of you, first of all. Uh, there will be certain things happening, like cars coming towards you and all this kind of stuff. And also it is really gonna test your level of concentration and focus. So this, I think, is a great exercise for people who want to get better at being able to focus on tasks, who have ADD, for example, and who want to learn how to be calmer, learn how to do very mundane things, and, and you know, you, 
You, you do nothing else but just drive a bus very slowly. It's like 50 or 60 kilometers an hour. And you, know, and you can also do multiplayer, by the way, so you can have a friend along with you in the bus. So you could have a, like a party bus. You have one person driving the bus and then various different friends in the bus and they all together partying in the bus. I think that could be also quite a cool thing uh, to do in private with your friends. Uh, and of course, if there are parties uh, that are you know, happening online, then you could join them. But I wasn't actually able to join any parties because there were no games available. But it's very interesting, definitely worth a try. As I mentioned, if it's something that you want to you know, learn how to be more calm and focus on tasks that are a little bit mundane. So drive a bus in, in the desert in VR. Merpa VR is the last one, I believe. Uh, yes, it is. So Merpa VR is a very interesting app. This is more for developers uh, who are looking to animate models. And instead of using the 3D program, what they can do is they can import the model inside of this app. And you can actually manipulate the models with your controllers and animate them the way you want. So you get to see how your, your models actually animate in real life scale in 3D instead of doing it on your computer, which I think gives another dimension. I think it's very interesting to have this because of course, we're talking about the metaverse, uh, being able to cross collaborate with other people using tools inside of virtual reality. So I just wanted to highlight this. It's not really a game for people who are not you know, into gaming and stuff. It's more for people and developers, animators who are looking to find more uh, tools that you know are useful for people in VR. And I think this is just one of those tools that I thought was extremely interesting. So Merp per VR, that's what it's called. So guys, I hope this list is okay with you. Sorry if I didn't do a best of. Do let me know in the comments below both two things. First of all, your own personal list of free apps that you'd like me to showcase on the channel that perhaps I missed today. I will do several different videos with so many other free apps that you can choose. So don't worry, plenty more coming. If we smash the 30 likes this time, I will do a follow-up video tomorrow. If we if we smash the 20, 20 likes, I'll do a follow-up next week. I won't do it tomorrow so do smash that like button so i can do another video tomorrow similar to this so guys do remember that we are giving away a brand new hp reverb g2 brand new pair of cyber shoes 50 dollar voucher that you will be able to redeem to your meta oculus quest store vipal store or your steam vr store and keyser for winner as well as well as the vr cover giveaway where you can go to the website and choose anything that you want from the website up to 29 US dollars or 29 euros up to you go to the link click below for the details of that competition but now it's time to give back to you because I freaking love you guys so let's go and read some comments about you sorry if I feel like I'm shouting a little bit there's so much noise on the other side I don't know if you can hear it I hope you don't but it's the only time I have right now to do the video so I do apologize for that all right so let's just transition over very quickly let's go back to the YouTube to the VR Essentials YouTube channel and read some comments that you guys have been leaving uh, the last few days or so. So yesterday we did a don't do this in VR video. Go and check it out, it's pretty awesome. I think there's some good tips. Uh, Jelila, let me just make it bigger so you guys can actually see your names also. There we go. So Julila one, I hope I pronounced it correctly. I definitely agree about easing into VR and not jumping headfirst into an intense game. Thank you very much for your comment, Julila one. I really appreciate it. Guma one nine eight four says, "Hey mate, look like you're switching quite often between cam and screen capturing. You can consider to start using hotkeys, mate." Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I love these comments of how we can increase, how we can make the channel better. I'll look into it. I do promise. Um, D Marcel says. I have smashed the walls enough times to know it's safer to play seated because it's so easy to carry to get carried away. It really, really is. And thank you very much for your comment. Uh, Di Marcel, I really appreciate that. Henry K sa says, number one, sounds weird, but when I first started VR, I moved my entire body instead of just my head. Doesn't sound pragmatic for games like Onward, but first starting out, it seemed to ease my motion sickness problems. Thank you very much, Henry K. Thank you for the tip. And uh, perhaps if it helps other people too, do leave a comment below too. Really appreciate your comment. Big Papa says, I hate dealing with children in VR. 
Well, a lot of us do, and that's what that video also touched on. Thank you, Big Papa, for your uh, for your comment. Stella, Stella says, hi, did you switch to a new place? Also, did you check out Among Us VR? No, I'm moving out. I'm selling the place, so that's why the lighting's a bit different. And I'll definitely check this out. Thank you very much for your suggestion. Uh, I'll do a post video for that. Let's go and check another video where it said Meta deleted her Metaverse. Uh, no, let's go and check another one, which was the Unreal 5 draw dropping uh, hyper-realistic graphics versus Unity. Uh, Nova66 says, yes, we would love all to see this in VR, but I'm pretty sure Epic has stated that Lumen and Nanite are not designed for VR. That would make a lot of sense as to why there's no PC VR version. Thank you, Nova66, for that. Hi, Stella, again. I'll read your comment after. Give other people a choice. Uh, Jacob Piper says, with VR, and if you actually paid attention in that Nanite, it still be worked on to work with the rendering tech required for VR. Well, again, it makes a lot of sense as to why there wasn't a VR option. Thank you very much for your comment. Sadiq Hakan says, uh, Hakan says, uh, Unreal Engine for cinematic oriented Unity is mostly gaming. Completely agree with you. However, this could change in the future. So thank you very much for your comment. Decentralized Fusion says, will be this big, or I think he made, this will be big. I just made my own video, share the love. Okay, great, fantastic. Uh, let's get to 9K, very close. Yes, please, please reshare the video, guys, on all your social media, on your LinkedIn, your Reddit, your Facebook, everywhere, so that we can get close to 9K and reveal the competition entry details for the HP Reverb G2, Cyber Shoes, and Game Keys. Gary Shilted says, it's a tech demo. Yes, I know, okay. Great, thank you. Uh, and then same spec, 76. PCVR is leap ahead of any console. I laugh because it will lose a ton of revenue not releasing a PC version. Well, it, it is a demo, so there's no revenue to be made. But you know, I do agree on future, uh, future things, of course, especially with various different technologies, uh, which is gonna enable us to basically be able to stream our games, our PCVR games, using a box or using a Steam Deck or using the cloud, and we won't need a PC anymore. So definitely a market to still consider as PCVR is not dead. Guys, just a reminder, giving away a brand new HP Reverb G2, Cyber Shoes, keys and more VR cover competition in the details below. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I love you guys. I'll see you in the comments below. Smash that like. If we get 30 likes, I'll do a follow-up video with more free games you can try out in PC VR. 20 likes, I'll do it next week. All right, guys, take it easy. Bye.